I tell you, confusion. Confusion. You know what? People get on my nerve because why are you driving like that? Good morning, good morning. I'm about to say Friday. I guess because the kids, they got to school. I'm, I'm, I forgot. But good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, you guys. I have the most exciting news. I am so happy right now. Um, So, I'm not sure what vlog it would be, but a few vlogs back, I stated that... Um, I said it that my daughter for the play, they were only issuing out each cast member four tickets. And today was the last day to pick the tickets up. So I went in there and I picked up my tickets, the four. And then I was like, um, cause so then I asked her, you know, like, how do you go about, you know, getting extra tickets, you know, type tickets or whatever. She was like, how many you need? And I was like, well, I need four more, you know, cause I need eight in total. And she said, um, she said, okay. She said, do you have money? On? Cause I don't have, oh hands ago actually only um only brought the exact amount of cash you know what people get on my nerve because why are you driving like that like if the light okay if your light is green right and you know how maybe someone like you know you can kind of turn so they're turning and why are you driving fast knowing and you can clearly see them turning but you're going to drive fast to go straight across like are you trying to intimidate them like you will hit them or what? I don't understand. People get on my nerve. Y'all don't understand. People get on my nerve. But anyway, back to my story. So, I'm able to get four extra tickets. I'm going to go back up to the school before, um, before school is over. So, yeah. I would go. No, I ain't going right now because I need to go and check in at work and see what's um see what's popping and then i'll probably go um back up there shortly because you either have to have um cash or a check and i don't i don't keep my checkbook on me i, I don't even use checks honestly if i use anything with a check that's something like paying something online but like right now the check i can't take the last time i wrote out a check but um so i'll probably just go to the teller and get out the money and then take it back to the school before school is over well i need to do it before like 12 because sometimes them people that call right line they be getting that school early it's, it's crazy but anyway um i'm excited so i got the amount of tickets that i need oh, i don't understand like when i you said that i was like oh i thank you but some now i understand certain things you know you want your whole family to come i get that but um Man, why you want 24 tickets? Now, me, myself, I have a big family. But when it comes to certain things, especially when it's something that is limited, I do immediate family. But yeah, I do more immediate family. I don't try to go to, you know, my mom's brother and sisters, my dad. You know, because it's, it's a, it's a, it becomes a lot. Especially, now, if it was just something where anybody could come, sure, come on. But when it's something limited... No, you some some lady thinks she needs 24 tickets. Ma'am, 24 tickets. And for me, and it could be weird. They could be weird. But for me, sometimes I am sometimes the type of person that don't even invite. That don't extend the invite to people. And because sometimes I feel like you ain't gonna come anyway. You know what I'm saying? So why should I waste my time? And that's just that's me. I've been doing that with my child for years. Like I I mean, and I don't be mad about it because, like, I'm going to invite who I think will come. You know? That's how I go about it. Like, if I think you might come, then you'll get an invite, you know? Um, but, yeah, but overall, y'all, I am excited. I'm excited. So, I'm about to go home and give me a banana and make me some coffee. And I'm going to pick y'all back up later. And I might, um,
Mm, that's what I might do. I might, when I run out to get the money from the ATM, I might run over to Lowe's because Lowe's and the ATM is kind of like right there. So I'll probably leave good enough time to do that and then be able to go back to the school before, you know, school is out and all that stuff. So we might go in Lowe's today, y'all. I think we are. I think we are. And I think I'm getting, I got to reach out to the man. And I think I'm getting my um, um, dryer today. I got to reach out to him. But, um, but yeah. Today is a good day. Today is a good day. I kept meaning to show y'all these. Like, these are so nasty. That's why we have all these. I mean to throw in the trash, but I want to show y'all first. This, this is where this belongs. Okay, you guys, so I'm on my way to the ATM to get the money um, to go and take it to the school. We will not have time to go to Lowe's right now. Hopefully, we have time later to go. Um, yeah, hopefully we have time later to go. Because if not, I'm probably not going until Tuesday. And why I say Tuesday is because if some stores, if I don't have to take Peyton in it, I won't. And Lowe's is one of them. She's not going to want to be in there and all. Yeah, so I, I'll go when I'm by myself. So, um, yeah. But I think we, I think we'll have a chance to go today because I'm probably going to get um, a sub from Jersey Mike's leader because I have a two dollars off because if you did the survey you got two dollars off and that expires on Saturday but I want it today so I'll get that later um and then probably I'll probably go to um I'll probably go to Lowe's first and then probably make my um my order as soon as I'm walking in Lowe's because I'm not going to be in it long. I'm just browsing to see what's out there and, you know, calculating things in my head and stuff. Try to see something because I need to see something right quick. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, oh, and it's hot. I don't know if I told y'all that. It is hot out here. I mean, not short pants, tank top hot, sandals hot. You know, you can probably put on a little short sleeve and you might be good. But here I am with this long sleeve on. But out here is a little warm. Uh, and I just talk about short sleeve and they and see the lady, the mom walking with some shorts on and tank top girl. Mm. But anyway, um, that was just so funny. I was just telling y'all that. Oh, not short pants, tank top hot. As soon as I turn the court, turn, bam, right there. She has on exactly what I told y'all is not hot enough for her. But that's her business. That's her body. I just, yeah. But anyway. Um, oh, you know, I was talking to my brother earlier. Because I was telling him something. And I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I remember when I wasn't able to go to my eighth grade dance. I was not able to attend my eighth grade dance. And to tell you why. Because in the eighth grade, every day we had silent lunch. I mean, it was crazy. Like every single day we had silent lunch. And this particular day, we had, you know, silent lunch. And so I think someone did something. And I don't know if I like turned around. Because I know I didn't talk. I don't know if I turned around. I don't know if I had like sniggle. I don't know what it was, but I know I did not talk, right? And I couldn't remember who it was that called me. I think mean, yelled my name out too. And I'm looking like, what? Like I wasn't this, um, I wasn't a, um, what's the word? Like I wasn't this like rebellious child uh, or a disrespectful child. But one thing about me though, when I know I didn't do something, baby, I stand on that. I'm, I, I'm sorry. You, you're not gonna tell me that I did something. 
And I remember, you know, going to the office, getting in trouble, going home, you know, my mom and all that stuff. And I remember her asking me, she said, you know, Tamisha, I'm going to defend you, but you got to be telling me the truth. Like, I don't care. Tell me the truth. And I said, mom, I'm telling you the truth. I, I was not talking. I did not talk. Went in the office and I kept talking. I didn't talk. I didn't talk, but it wasn't hearing me. Because one thing, perception is everything. How someone perceives something, that's sometimes it's, that's all that matters because someone can say something to me and i could take it a certain way and they were like i didn't mean it that way but i took it as another way you know so all that all that matters oh i'm coming to the wrong place god darn it okay all that um all that matters or whatever and yeah, I stood on. I was like, nope, I did not talk. I didn't talk. I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. But it wasn't hearing that. It wasn't hearing it. Because like I said, I was not able to go to my eighth grade dance. So, I mean, it was nothing I could do about it. But yeah, it was crazy though. I'm like, what? <sighs> but you got to understand, perception is everything. But let me get this money and stuff and try to get that at school and get back home because the guy that's supposed to be bringing me my dryer is i'm trying to think so i can like he can hurry up and come and not me just be out here in these streets and he come later i want him to come right now so as i'm sitting here waiting i um i think i'm gonna get on get in on the love is blind train because even the last time i did indulge in love is blind it was like when it was almost over and everybody was talking about it because first of all i don't sit here i don't like to wait for anything so if i can speed up the process and just hold off and watch it later i'll do that but yeah i think i'm gonna get in the love is blind train because i see a lot of stuff about a i think ad or something i don't know what it's about and even the whole megan fox the girl thing i didn't heard a lot about that too but i think i'm gonna jump in on the love is blind train this weekend I think it's to give me something to watch. Comment down below and let me know. Are you guys watching Love is Blind? Or I don't know if it's I don't know if it's done. But no, because I don't think the reunion is out yet. But are you guys watching Love is Blind? Love is Blind? Comment down below and let me know. Cause I think I'm gonna get into it. Out with the O. My baby was with me for 10 years. Over 10 years. <laughs> I'm so sorry, baby. I did this to you. In with the new. And I got a drop down door because that's what I was used to. He had some that open, but I just went back with what I was used to. But this is a new one. I hope you can last another 10 years, baby. Or at least five. But I think I'm going to um, wallpaper inside here. And that water stain, like, you know, the old cedar mop things. I used to put my thing up there and let it dry. I stopped doing that <laughs> because it was starting to get the watermarks. But... If I get wallpaper, it don't matter. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna put wallpaper in here. Oh, and let me tell y'all something funny. Peyton, you said it says wash, dry, fold, repeat. Peyton says wash, dry for about a week or two, then fold, <laughs> repeat. Cause she said, I just let the clothes sit there. But anyway, but yeah, this is my new dryer. I'm excited. Like I said, I hope this one lasts me about 10 years as well. Y'all, so our little trip is going to be have to be on hold for a little minute because I have a meeting at work that starts at 3 o'clock in this two minutes to 3. And um, I showed y'all my dryer. And when I was looking at the dryer, and like I was talking to my mom, I was like, I don't think this is the dryer, the picture I sent him. But he was like, all the dryers, um, the brand, the Kenmore is gone. So what he's going to do is like get some other ones ready and then show me a picture. And if I want one, he'll just swap it out. But I was trying to, like, I don't want to seem like a B, you know, I always try to seem, I don't want to be confrontational or, you know, just seem difficult, you know, and I'm really not that person, but you know, sometimes you like what you like and you got to stand on it. So yeah, I'm about to have this meeting. There's one more minute, but to log into this meeting shouldn't take long and then we gonna run the Lowe's and I'm gonna get my sandwich from Jersey Mike's. So I'm excited to see what Lowe's have. So in a minute, we going to Lowe's. All right, you guys, we are finally heading to Lowe's. I am off work. Um, I'm about to go in Lowe's real quick and look around. And um, 
Yeah, and then we can be out. And I'll go pick Peyton up from school. And I haven't eaten. So I'm sorry if it probably, I may have the white mouth. But um, I get Jersey Max after I pick Peyton up from school. I'm tired, I know that. Oh man. But yeah, um, what about the same? Um, yeah. I know that I am so excited my baby get her hair braided tomorrow. Cause this mom love braids, okay? Cause she used to get like the feed in ponytail. She got that a few times. But now we are we started braids since August and I have been loving them. Cause I love, love, love not having to do her hair. Like Hair days are, and I have to wash it tonight. So that's gonna be a job. Cause I remember my baby was a baby and like she had hair, but like, you know, sometimes how baby had that little balding in the back. And that's how she was. And I remember I used to do everything. Masca massage, massage her scalp and do all these things to make sure, you know, I'm waking up those hair follicles and, you know, getting it going. Now, a head full of hair. Like, like they said, you gotta be careful what you what you ask for. Because you just might receive it. And when you receive it, are you ready? Are you ready? But, um, oh, you know what? I saw something online. Cause you know, K Michelle been doing her her country music thing, and I saw something. I don't know. Mm, I'm not sure if that was a shade room or not that posted it, but uh, I think she got like a new soundtrack or something. And I see people in the comments talk. I know y'all already know what they said, saying that oh Beyonce things are now. K Girl, what? K Michelle been doing this. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I just. Like, I am not, I am not a beehive, but I don't dislike Beyonce either. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't, um, it's no one, I, I don't, I'm not a, I mean, I'm, like, some people are good and all that, but I'm not, like, just super fan of people. What's it look like? I think sometimes the camera be giving off that I be having something around my mouth and I don't. But, um. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not like a, a, a diehard fan of anyone, myself, <laughs> my child, but these celebrities and stuff, no, they're cool, but like some of these people, like they will argue, I, I wish I would go back and forth with a damn stranger, yeah, outside y'all damn mind, but um, yeah, like, oh, I see Beyonce did, no, no, Kim Michelle been on her country music thing. But I, I'm not sure where y'all are, but gas around here is funny, okay? Funny. Because yesterday, gas was 315. Maybe like the day, a few days before that, gas was 293. And now, just earlier, when I went out to get the money for um, the school, gas was 311. Now gas is 309. <laughs> hot potato, hot potato. I'm trying to see if I see Soji White. Now Soji White looks great.
Young girl don't want that back, calling me splurge. Let me jump right on the curb. Bet this right fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, don't keep in my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crank up the phone, I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. When I tell you, confusion. Confusion. But I'm just gonna look around and I'm about to find out where the muscle bound is. So, and I got some cards to look at some pink colors. <sighs> Crack up the phone, I swear. Keep me a stick of they purge. I don't wanna they working my nerve. I'm about to pull us a serve. Yeah. Fucking this bitch like a purr. Yeah. Smack on the back of a purr. Yeah. Ice, ice, the bird. So I am out of Lowe's. And I finally I had to talk to someone. Um, because I was showing her. Because I was just trying to figure out would it be cheaper for me to do it myself or get somebody to do it. I think I might have just let huh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But um she did show me, which I knew they had it, but she did show me um, the pre-cut ones. And I kind of, in my dining room, I want the, um, like the, I guess, Wayne's coating or whatever, the strip across and then the blocks in the middle of it. So I do want to do that, but, and I know all I can do is just buy the trim from in there. My hair be looking crazy, but yeah. So now I'm about to go get Peyton. And I went a little bit over my time. But it's fine because I'm not far from the school. I'm trying to, did I take it out? I think I did and I didn't put it back. But um, but yeah, so I will be eventually using those frames because they come the uh pre-cut and you know or whatever and frame, but I think I'm going to go with Casablanca maybe because soji white now that i saw it in person i'm glad i didn't just buy it but it looks gray see the difference yeah it looks gray so that's that on that but um yeah let me go get Peyton, and then i'm gonna have to order my sandwich because i am hungry i haven't eaten since i had a banana and coffee this morning and I had that about 12 something, I think it was. But yeah, so we'll just have to see. But like I said, the color, I want the color now. Like, so I will be getting paint soon. I just have to figure out what color I want. Cause like I said, that's Soji White. I did not know that color was that gray. But I want to think like reading it and kept looking at it and looking at reviews and stuff. I want to think someone said that, but and then I thought I saw someone say like a cream white. So, but yeah, that definitely has gray in it for sure. But um, yeah, I might do Casablanca though. Cause that's look more of the color, beige color I'm going for. Um, yeah, so. <sighs> I'm about to head and go get Peyton for school, so. So good and you cannot forget your chips spicy nachos so good what i told y'all earlier a head full of hair i will wash it in the morning before her appointment but yes all this hair
Thank you for wanting a verse from me. Apologies for the wait. Sometimes it's hard to get the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had your another little baby. Congratulations. I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing the way that you tell me your kids. The fame, the bitches that's hating They sit around waiting For you to fall off like the album I'm making But I hope that you're taking A little time for yourself Still in a moment or two to unwind Between the hectic sounds of your precious baby crying Do you get in your mind? I see a lot going on I hear it in all of your songs Niggas been doing you wrong Barely been doing you wrong On days you feeling like you on your own I wrote this for you to put on Thank you for sharing your light, your voice And writing a beautiful poem Session 32, bring me to tears Be getting choked up when I hear it Seems like I keep crying off so much Since a nigga had these kids And I don't know what it is That made me so sensitive More than I already was Whenever my nap, I'm back I'm sending you this little audio hug And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up It's just like a drug If people knew half of the pressure They know that it's hard to be her I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns You ever need something from me, no hesitate Please just hit me and I'll be around, I'm coming dryer piece i'm gonna have to fix that later but only have one more side to do so let's get it and we're done so we're done this is the end of this vlog and if you are new here please consider subscribing if you are returning thank you so much for keep coming back and i will see you later on today because today is friday Boy, I ain't having this way. And like the third me go out, take.